Yo, bro, we're chilling in the summer house today. So, yeah, new setup. Hope you enjoy it. And let's get right into it. So, how I overcame my insecurities. I'm a person who likes to think a lot, right? I remember even at the age of 13 and 14, there'd be times where, I, you know, I wouldn't be playing on Xbox or I wouldn't be using my phone, my iPad or whatever. I'd just be sat in deep thought and imagine scenarios in my head or think things through in my head. And this is something that a lot of people could benefit from. Because I think it's through thinking that you can find many things about yourself. You can find your purpose. You can find your mission to your goals. Your, you know, you can heal trauma through deep thinking. You can just become a happier person in, person in general. And what I did so from the early years of high school, so from about 11 to 14 years old, I was very insecure about how I looked, right? Because especially at the start of high school, I was this, you know, kind of chubby brown kid whose ears stuck out of it, you know. Um, I never knew what to do with my hair either. I always put loads of flipping uh, hairspray on my hair. So it would, it would just be like cement, just solid. And I'd have it like swept to the side instead of combed uh, back. And, you know, there were many things there that I could have, you know, sorted about myself. Like, for example, my weight. I solved that problem by myself, even at that young age, because I stopped snacking, essentially. I stopped having an extra, you know, dessert after dinner or I stopped having, you know, a bag of chips after that. I just stopped bad habits that were causing me to gain weight and eventually I became skinny again. Now, of course, there were other insecurities that I couldn't solve, like, for example, my ears or, you know, my nose. I've got a lovely pigeon nose and it's also a bit broken as well because I think when I was a kid, I got hit in the face with a football and it's just broke. So I'm just, I like to call myself a wonky sod, a wonky individual, right? I'm My face is kind of asymmetrical, you know, there's moles and stuff and there's, you know, I look like a Dr. Dot puzzle. <laughs> it's, you know, I have these things, right? This is just who I am. And when I was giving some dedicated thought, I'm not talking about, oh, I'm playing a game and I suddenly think about, oh, you know, oh, I'm worrying about this and getting back into name. No, I was literally sat in my room like this, right? <laughs> literally thinking, I'm the thinker. I'm sitting here, right? Literally no stimulation, you know, not talking to anyone, just sat in my room thinking. Didn't have my eyes closed. I'm just sort of sat thinking about my life. And it was so weird how the thought came to me, but... I was thinking about my appearance and my looks and my self-confidence. And I just thought, no one gives a shit. Like, genuinely. No one wakes up in the morning. None of my classmates, none of my teachers, none of my peers wake up in the morning and go, wow, <laughs> Max, goddamn ugly. Oh, my gosh, he's so ugly. Oh, my gosh, he, he's got such a big nerve and his ears stick out. No one thinks that. Sure, people might have a fleeting thought about my appearance, but why would they make something like me a significant part of their day? They, everyone's focused on themselves. You know, I think it would just be sad if you're worrying about, you know, like the looks of another person. Why, why should that affect you? Everyone is exactly like you. They're worrying how they look, they look and how others perceive them. But think to yourself, let's say there's someone in your class who, you know, they've got a tough recessed, recessed jawline and their, you know, face fat and bad acne. Do you think, right, do you wake up and, like, genuinely think about them? And I'm not talking about, you know, oh, they might spring to mind and then you're back doing what you're doing. No, do you genuinely, like, say to yourself, oh, my God, what the hell? No, because why would you do that? You're focused on yourself, as you should be, but you're focusing on yourself for the wrong reasons. You're thinking about, oh, you know, I'm wondering if people look at me. Oh, I wish my face was like this. I wish it was that. Ultimately, the best advice I've ever heard on YouTube is if you can't change it, don't worry about it. Right now, of course, with modern times, you can get cosmetic surgery and things like that. But I'm personally not a fan of like unnecessary surgery like you know, I remember in like high school, I had like kind of a toxic friendship and this guy would like, you know, say crap to me all the time. And he said to me, you know, oh, you can get your ears pinned back, don't you know? And there have been times where I look in the mirror, 
I pin my ears back and, you know, I think about what I'd look like. But then I stop and release them because, you know, I'm, I'm grateful, ultimately. I'm grateful that I have functioning ears. There's many people out there who don't have as healthy a body as me. And this isn't like to, you know, to make fun of people who have deformities or stuff like that. Like, that's a shame, obviously, but you just know you could always have it worse, right? A person with a deformity who sees you complaining about, oh, because your ears are a bit too big, they'd get annoyed at you because, you know, people aren't staring at me in the street. People aren't, you know, looking at me and young children staring at me and stuff like I'm just grateful, like for my nose as well. I'm grateful that I am able to take deep breaths and have a fully working and functioning nose. Some people don't have that. And no one, I just know that no one's thinking about it, right? Now, of course, you still want to kind of be in people's thoughts, but for the right reasons. Now, obviously, stuff like nose, ears, um, you know, other stuff you can't change, right? So what can you change? Well, you can change your body fat. You can, um, imp you know, sort out your acne and get rid of it. You can just become a healthy and happy individual. And I think if you have happy thoughts, right, if you actually believe in yourself and grateful for this wonderful life, you will, it will show on your face. You'll physically look better. You know, people will notice that you have more confidence in yourself, more energy. I learned this years ago from a book by the author Roald Dahl called The Twits. And it's about, you know, two people, a man and a woman, who are, you know, just horrible people, really unhygienic. They're essentially, <laughs> they essentially represent, you know, it's crazy how this book's like 30, 40 years old and it just represents modern people and our people who don't take care of themselves, who are overweight and just are really, really poor, you know, just poor human beings. Now, what it does mention in the book is that the... Uh, the woman in the book, she was apparently in her youth a very attractive young woman, very lovely, very, you know, you know, she was sought after. But the book says that she got ugly thoughts, right? Years and years she got ugly thoughts. Now, it doesn't specify what the ugly thoughts are, but it's just, you know, you know, thinking bad about yourself or thinking bad about others or just being hateful and not grateful. And it shows, um, in this is a kid's book, by the way, so it's it's crazy how in a kid's book it can be so insightful. It's got pictures of her getting older and she just, her looks decay and she just looks horrible by the end of it, this horrible scraggy old woman. And I think that's just the law of attraction, you know, an example of the law of attraction. Now, I am planning to make a video on, you know, manifestation and law of attraction, you know, until recently, I thought it was absolute bullcrap, just really wishy-washy and there was no real, you know, point in it and it didn't make sense. But I think there is some truth to it. I think if you have ugly thoughts, you become an ugly person and that makes you more insecure. So you've just ultimately got to have this realisation that no one gives two shits, right? No one cares how you look. Of course, you might have your parents who are bothered, but they probably tell you, right? My dad used to tell me when I had my hair going out, oh, come on, boy, have your hair uh, combed up. It would look better. And I didn't listen to him because I was like, you know, although I had a stage where I was insecure and then I didn't become insecure anymore. But the problem is, is that I was a bad kind of not insecure in that I didn't care about my looks and I didn't care about improving them was the issue. So that's why I, you know, I cleansed my face. Sure, I got rid of acne and things, but I wasn't focused on building muscle and building an attractive physique. I didn't, you know, care how my hair looked or, you know, just other stuff, man. I wasn't caring about how my breath smelled and things. Of course, I brushed my teeth, but, you know, even if my breath stank, I'd just go through it. I just, I wouldn't bother getting some chewing gum or mints to freshen my breath. And that's not where you want to be. You don't want to be not insecure, but you also don't want to be, you don't want to be insecure, I mean, but you don't want to also not care, right? You don't want to stink, essentially. Be known by name, not by smell. So I hope that I've given you an insight into my world. Just even the things that seem negative in your life, whether it be appearance or, you know, even if it's something like social skills that you're bad at, just be grateful 
that you have the ability to speak even if you're not good at it be grateful that you can breathe through your nose be grateful that you have ears that you can hear beautiful sound because some people don't have that and just know you can always improve upon it and if you can't improve upon it don't worry about it if you can't change it don't worry about it such is life but you can improve your social skills you can lower your body fat you can you know improve your um facial attraction people will try and lead you to believe that insecurities are forever that oh i'm stuck with this or i'm stuck with the depression or i'm stuck with social anxiety no this is not the natural state of being a human being sad being depressed feeling inadequate the natural state of being a, a human is just being right just existing being present and of course being happy being grateful not just for the good times but for the bad times as well because they help you appreciate the good times even more i'm not going to sit here and pretend that i don't think about insecurities from time to time but it's not a thought that i hold in my mind it's a fleeting thought i might get the insecurity of oh i wish my nose was swollen bam it's gone i'm not thinking about my nose being small anymore because i can't do anything about it i just think positive thoughts like oh i'm grateful for my nose i can take deep breaths i'm grateful that i'm able to deliver beautiful life force of oxygen into my lungs and then be able to breathe it out again how beautiful is that this is the mindset you need bro so i hope i've helped you out god bless bro